Hey everybody, Rocks and Box 90 here, back with Magic the Gathering Origin Spoilers. So the set keeps getting better and better day after day. Let's hop in today with Abbot of Carol Keep, 2 for a 2 1 Human Monk with Prowess. When it enters the battlefield, you exile a top card of your library, and until end of turn, you may play that card. This is super nice because it's a perfect kind of magic design, in my opinion, where a card is good at all points of the game. Early in the game, you get a 2 for a 2 1 Prowess that also allows you to potentially get the land drop that you may have missed. It also lets you mess around with really cheap spells, enabling other prowess. And it, later game, if you play it, it's a 2 for 2 1 prowess body, which is solid and lets you play something from your deck as almost a pseudo card draw. Very good for aggressive style decks. I like it in limited. I like it potentially even in constructed. Good design. We'll get to the foreign cards in a minute. Let's go to Priest of Bloodrite, 5 for 2 2. Enter the battlefield, you get a 5 5 flying demon. Being of your upkeep, you lose two life. I think this card could have probably been uncommon, maybe a very strong uncommon. At rare, it feels pretty weak. It doesn't It doesn't really hit me. Five for a 5-5 five, five flyer and another 2-2 two, two body that penalizes you every turn. Yeah, it's seven power for five. But at rare, that's a significant drawback, losing two life consistently. So in limited, I can see it making, you know, being worthwhile. It constructed, nah. Animus Awakening X and 1 for a sorcery, fill top X card to your library, all land cards, go into battlefield tapped, the rest of the bottom of your library in any random or in a random order, not any order. And spell mastery, you can untap those lands. This is really cool because it's land cards. That's number one. For, for commander players, you can rejoice. This is incredible because it gives you any land. It includes dual lands, utility lands, you name it. It gets everything. Interestingly enough, this also works really well in what we're kind of seeing as Ramp mono green or green something ramp in standard because they are clearly pushing that as an option. This card scales very, very well in that format, works very well with things like Nissa. Brilliant design, like it a lot. Great card. Talent of the Telepath. This card's really weird. Four for a sorcery, field the top seven cards. You can play an instant or sorcery without paying mana cost, and then they put the rest in the graveyard. Spell mastery lets you play two instead of one. So this card's interesting because we live in a world of prowess. In Commander, there are better cards. There's, I forget the name of the card, something Knowledge, or some, I believe, which is seven mana. You get to look through your opponent's whole deck and play in a sorcery much better than this card in that format. But it's not a terrible card, definitely a more budget staple. I don't really see how this is going to work in Constructed. It seems really awkward, but we do. But having stuff that's essentially, I don't know, it's, it's a double-edged sword. I don't think it's going to get there in Constructed. Unlimited it seems decent. Commander, it seems pretty solid. Interesting design. Spoiler of Souls, two for a three one, can't block. Two exile two other creatures, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. So that's a nice effect you can do at the end of your opponent's turn. But two for a three one, three power, aggro for black, at least in a standard and, and limited environment, seems good. Especially the recursion ability seems fine. It also prevents reanimation potentially, which is against certain decks very nice. I don't think it's as good as some things that like Blood Gas, which you've seen in the past. So we have other variants I think are much better than it. But in the standard and limited environment, I think it'll do work. It seems like a decent aggressive card. Necromantic Summons is five for a sorcery. Put target creature card from any graveyard to play your control. Spell Master gets two one one counters in addition. We've seen this before on Uncommons. It's solid. It's good. It does its work. Uh, it's any graveyard is nice. Nothing particular special here. Hangerback Walker is a double X for a zero zero. Comes into play with X one one counters, and when it dies, you get a one one flying thopter for each counter on it, and then one colorless tap it put a one one counter on it. Now, if you guys recall, there was a card that was a construct as well. I forget the name of it. It was one of the I think it was a core set within the last three four years. I forget exactly, but I remember that card was super good because it was one for a one one, and then tap one tap put a one one counter on it. And it scaled up like mad and became a real big problem in Limited. It was an amazing, amazing card. I think it was an uncommon even. Hangerback Walker is that on steroids, and I think Wizards is cognizant of how good that is, and so they're really trying to make this card. They're pushing it, but they're also trying to hold it back in Limited, and I think in Limited is where this card would shine like crazy. It may potentially work in certain slower decks with artifact themes or whatever, but in Limited is where this card I think will be the biggest problem because it scales up and it replaces itself. Really good card. Outland Colossus is 5 or 6-6, six, six, Renown 6. That's 5 or 6-6 six, six already is good. Upside, Renown 6. <laughs> That's really good. Can't be blocked by more than one creature is nice. This is kind of the opposite of Menace. Force your opponent to block one at a time, which kind of fits the 
I'm a huge Colossus, I'm coming at you kind of thing, and you just have to deal with it straight up. I can almost imagine this card in a duel against one-on-one, -on -one, and that kind of fits the, the artwork, the style of the card. I like it a lot. And the Renowned 6 is just upswing. 5 or 6-6 six, six in Limited is insane. I don't think this will be in Constructed, but in Limited, it's a surefire when I would grab it. Disciple of the Ring is 5 for a 3-4. Tap 1, Exile, and Instant Sorcery. Choose 1. Counter target non-creature spell and spay 2. Gets 1 plus 1. Tap target creature, untap target creature. This is pretty much Ajutai Exemplars, except the problem with it is, is that it requires you have a good amount of Instant Sorceries in your graveyard. Yes, its abilities can stack, hence the reason it's at 5 mana, is that you can tap to exile two instant sorceries and say counter target creature spell non-creature spell you can do it twice against that spell thing it stacks up its abilities which i think gives it a lot of flexibility and control and that's why it's five mana it also is a three four so it evades things like lightning bolt and so on but i would say this card is it's going to be insane and limited of course it may work in certain decks in standard but it'll take a little bit of work to get there and it as a body it's not quite as good as Ashutai Exemplar because it requires you having stuff in your graveyard to make it work, and if you don't, then it's not good at all. It's a double-edged sword. I think it will, may do some work. It will take a very specific, specialized kind of deck. And since Ashutai Exemplar is at one mana less, didn't actually see a ton of play, I'm not sure this will as well. Surefire, good limited card, though. I'd grab it. To spoil our souls, we actually talked about. Evolutionary Leap is two green for an enchantment. Tap one, sack a creature. Field top cards in your library until you reveal a creature. That card goes in your hand. The rest of the bottom of your library in any order. This is a very, very, very bad version of Survival of the Fittest. And it's very nice as a sack outlet. That's the main thing I can mention is that it gives you the ability to sack out your creatures to get more creatures on hand, which for, let's say, a mono green deck, which doesn't have a lot of card draw, this kind of card works very well as an early on drop, especially if you're ramping up. Uh, it maybe is a one or two of kind of thing. Um, it'll be interesting to see if it actually has any sort of traction, but that's probably the reason it's that rare. Gideon's Phalanx is seven for an instant that you get four two two vigilant soldiers and they are indestructible and under turn if you're spell mastering them. So the reason it's awesome is you can do it at the end of your opponent's turn, even if your opponent is wrathing, they're indestructible and under turn so the opponent can't deal with them. And the fact that it's instant, that's the main thing. It's a very nice finisher, it's super awesome and limited, works very well uh, in uh, in token related decks. Commander, obviously, this card, it doesn't quite scale up as much as you want, but the indestructible element is super nice as, as a push-through swing or as a defensive and then push-forward swing. I like the card design a lot. I think it's it does a lot of work. Scab Clan Berserker is 3 for a 2-2 two, two with haste. Renowned 1 whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell. If it's renowned, you can deal 2 damage to that player. So we've seen cards like Adalon. Adalon of, I forget the name of it. But the Adalon is 2 for a 2-2. Two, two. That has the same effect, but it's for both players, and it's for non it's for spells of a certain amount of mana, current amount of cost or less. This card is obviously a little bit more wide open. It hits only your opponent, but it is three mana, not two, and it requires renown to work, which it makes it potentially worse. But I think for in standard and limited, this card of kind of card is really nice for aggressive decks, especially burn related decks, and we'll probably see some good play. I would think. And last up, we have the promo for September is Orator, uh, Orator of Ajutai. We've seen this card before. It's a pretty decent card, and it's just a very beautiful piece of artwork. That's the real reason I like it. I'd love to get one of these just to have as the foil. Looks very pretty. So let me know what you guys think. I know we got a lot of spoilers today, a lot of cool stuff. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And if you are new to the channel, definitely check out and subscribe. As always, Rocks of Box 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.